So guys, believe it or not, this pedal right here is actually a fully functional two-channel 200 watt amplifier and it fits in my hand. Okay, so this is the Baroni Hellraiser. And like I said, this is actually a 200 watt mini amplifier. I and mean, you can put this right on your pedal board, but it's a fully functional amplifier. It actually has two channels. You switch them with the main foot switch here. It even has an effects loop and a direct out plug. Now, as pedals go, this is pretty hefty, uh, but it's really no larger than, you know, some of the delay pedals I have and so forth. It has all of the standard controls of an amplifier up here. You've got a drive or a gain knob, a pre-EQ control, a volume, and then a master volume. Down here, you've got your other EQ controls, bass, middle, and treble. And you change the channel with the foot switch here. And then these jacks on the side here, this one down here is your main speaker output, which would go to your speaker cab. This one here is a DI out, a direct out signal, which you can run into you know, a recording setup or into a PA. This one here is the effects return because this does have an effects loop. It's got the return there and the send up there. This little one here is of course the power jack and then this is your main guitar input. So the beauty of this is you just install this on your pedal board and then this combined with whatever other pedals you have and then a speaker cabinet, either one that you bring with you or one that you know the venue will provide for you or something if you're going to play a show, that becomes your entire rig. You don't need to bring a big bulky amplifier with you. And guys, it doesn't just say 200 watts on it. This thing really is loud. Don't let the size fool you. Okay, so the controls are pretty straightforward. It looks awesome, but I know you guys wanna hear some tones, so we'll go ahead and listen to how it sounds. But real quick, I'm really trying to grow the channel right now. So if, if you guys enjoy this kind of content or if you've been watching a lot of these videos and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing right now. All right, guys, let's go ahead and sit down with the Baroni Hellraiser 200 watt pedal amp. <laughs> Okay guys, so a few things jump out to me after playing with this amplifier. One of them is it has a really, really nice clean channel. So again, to switch the channel, I'm just hitting this one foot switch here. So that toggles between the clean channel and then the higher gain channel. Now, when it comes to the higher gain channel, 
I wouldn't say this is a really, really modern sounding high gain tone that you get out of this amplifier. It's really more of a vintage style, uh, higher gain amp, kind of a fuzz tone in some ways. But obviously, you have an effects loop and you can put other pedals in front of this. So you can either rely on the gain from the pedal or you can just run it on the clean channel and then rely on gain or overdrive from a separate pedal. Regardless, this amp, and I know it doesn't come through in the video, but this is extremely loud. I mean, you're not sacrificing any volume by going to a physically smaller amplifier. Now, one thing about this pedal that I do think is a little bit odd and something that, you know, I'm not really sure how I feel about it, but there is no on off switch for this pedal. Uh, you know, there's no power switch for it. As soon as you plug it in, it's on. Uh, but sometimes, you know, when you're setting it up, that can lead to things where, you know, if, if it's plugged in and the, the knob is pretty far up, and then you plug in the power, suddenly it turns on, and you have to be kind of ready for that. Another thing, too, is if you plug in the power supply first to the wall, and then you plug in the cable to the back of the pedal here, you get a pretty large spark that comes out of there. Now they do warn you about that. There's actually a little yellow sticker right on the power supply cable that instructs you to plug that little jack into the pedal first, then plug in the other end of the power supply. So make sure you follow the directions. As far as the construction, uh, this pedal is a little bit heavy, but all of the controls feel really, really rock solid. I mean, there's nothing that's loose nothing that feels cheap at all. You know, even the case is really, uh, is really solid. It's got this nice hammered thick paint finish on here. So I think this would be extremely durable. I think what, it would hold up for a long time. Now this pedal costs about $400. It's right in that range. I've seen some of them, you know, a little under 400 and I think they're listed at 429 on the website. And I know for a pedal that seems like a lot, but remember this is replacing your amplifier. And again, with the two channels and the effects loop and the DI out, which is really, really useful. I mean, you're not going to be really losing anything by going to this instead of a traditional amplifier. Now, I know Baroni is not the only company that makes pedal-sized amplifiers, but this one, I think, in a lot of ways, is has the best features. I mean, with the DI out, the effects loop, and it just being 200 watts, that's pretty awesome. But I would love to hear what you guys think about this pedal or any other amplifier-type pedals uh, that you guys have tried out. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already hit the notification bell, and I'll see you next time.